television. If you look in a study they did in a survey, that the average worker, like service worker in this country, watches 30 hours of television a week. Children, they say 40 to 60 hours of television a week, a full-time job, watching nonsense. This is what they're doing. When you go to the managers of these people, they watch 20 hours a week. When you go to the, uh, the heads of, the, of the, 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 you know, the people over the managers, the overseers, then you get like 10 hours a week. When you get to the CEOs, they watch two to three hours of television a week. 50% of that material is material related to the work that they're doing. So the movers and shakers in this world are not sitting around watching television. They're utilizing their lives for shar, for evil. And they're spreading their facade all over the world, but they're busy at it. And the Muslims are asleep, and because we have gone to sleep, they have taken over. Because we have gone to sleep, they have taken over. And that's why we find ourselves in the horrific condition we find ourselves in. And until the Muslims wake up, it's just going to, one nightmare to another. We're just going to be in one nightmare to another. That's all it is. They're just nightmares because we're asleep. And when we wake up, then we can enter into the light of day. And Islam is a deen about waking up. That's what it is. Religion is supposed to wake people up. Islam is not an opiate. There are other religions that fulfill that function. In fact, they got rid of religion and now they just spread opium, quite literally. The same people that used to control the state, that controlled religion to maintain the masses, to do what they want them to do. When they got rid of religion, when they found it was no longer useful, now they literally spread drugs. You can see this. Their own, the CIA in this country is directly involved and engaged in drug dealing, bringing in cocaine, putting it into the inner cities in this country. In Liverpool, in England, in Liverpool, this is not a joke, I'm not making this stuff up. You can go buy this in, in mainstream uh, bookstores and read this stuff of people within these organizations that admit this. They'll even admit this on 60 Minutes. I mean, this is not a joke, this is reality, people. There are people that want to keep you asleep. If they don't use the drugs of, of white powder, they'll use the drug of television, they'll use the drug of their mass media, they'll use all these drugs, but they're going to keep you asleep because they fear the day that you wake up. That's what they fear. And you should be very well aware of that. Because Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala told us this in the Quran. To show Fir'aun all these political tyrants, and to show Haman all these multinational economic, political, uh, economic powers that are, are literally subjugating, humiliating, stealing the minerals and resources of Muslims and human beings all over the world in order for them to play golf on the weekends. And then you have Junud Huma, those like the Pentagon and all these uh, powerful militaries that go around tyrannizing people and humiliating people, bombing innocent civilians, gassing human beings. We had Kurdish human beings that were gassed. Be aware of that, people. Kurdish human beings living in villages, mothers with their babies gassed by these people. This is how they feel about human beings. This is how they feel about it. Those gas bombs weren't made in those countries. They're made by the, the same people that bring good things to life. And this is not a joke. This is reality, people. This is reality. And if you don't like it, go back to sleep. But this is real. You're all adults and you better start just being aware of what kind of world we're living in and what we have to do to make some changes. Because the changes aren't going to come around if we just keep sleeping along, dozing along, putting on the snooze button. Because the alarm clock keeps going off. Allah has given us enough warnings and we just sit around. But Allah says that He promises to show Fir'aun, Haman and his armies what they were fearing from these people. You see, when the day that they wake up, the day that they say we're not going to take any more. I mean, this is what has to happen. But if we stay in this state of just uh, taking in all these things and believing all the lies and, and going on as if nothing's going to uh, get better and change, Muslims, we don't despair. Muslims are not people of despair. This is not our deen. We're people of hope. We're people of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Allah is our mawla. Allah is our mawla. And we should be aware, la hawla wa la quwwata illa billah. There is no strength and no power except by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. I mean, this is, this is it. This is reality. And I really hope 
that all of you, including myself, and I include myself in every talk that I give because I need my own advice uh, as much as anybody else, that we have to become people of did, of seriousness, people that, of, of, that are worthy of this dean, people that are worthy of this dean. If you read the stories of those who went before us, when they asked them, what was Ibn Umar like? They asked Nafi, the servant of Ibn Umar, what was he like? Wallahi la tutiqunahu. He, the man said, don't ask me about it, because you'll never do what he did. They said, well, what did he do? He said he did wudu for every prayer. And between the prayers, he was either occupied in, in important matters or re rec reciting the Qur'an. These were people of depth and seriousness. They weren't frivolous people. They went and they literally spread this deen to the ends of the earth. And this is not pie-in-the-sky rhetoric. This is not pie-in-the-sky rhetoric. Our deen is not a deen of rhetoric. It's a deen of action. It's not a dean of eloquent words. It's a dean of doing things, of going out and changing the world. And the people in this room have the potential to do that. The people in this room, have, you have the potential to do that if you're willing to rise up to the level of the dean. But if you choose to remain in your sleep, in your somnambulant states, if we choose all to just carry along, mosey along, go to the mall, become consumers until we're consumed, Right? Born to buy, the one with the most toys in the end wins. Right? He still dies, right? You don't, the toys don't go with you. And we're not people of play. We're not people of play. Quran says that Allah didn't create the, this world as a play and a pastime. It's not for playing and pastime. It's not for sports. I mean, Wallahi, you're men. You're not children. You're men. Don't waste your time watching sports on the, on the CNN or whatever you watch it on. Get up and do something with your lives. Become serious people of, of depth and understanding. I mean, really, do it. Just do it, right? Just get out and do it. Don't, don't just sit around and, and, until the next game's on. And, and they'll just keep giving it to you. They'll give it to you. They'll give you football, and then they'll give you baseball, and then they'll give you basketball, and then they'll give you football again, and then they'll give you baseball, and then they'll give you basketball. They'll keep churning out the songs for you, one after another. They'll bring the new pop stars. They'll bring the new actresses with the beautiful faces. They'll bring the new designs, the latest fashion, the latest fad. They'll just keep doing it for you. They'll keep churning it out as long as you keep eating it up and buying it. The day that you turn it off is the day that you have overcome them. That that is the day that we, that we have had victory. The day that we say we turn it off, we turn all this rubbish off, that's the day that we have victory. But until that day comes, we're just going to go from one nightmare to another. As an ummah, we need to rise up to the level of this deen.